Hi, welcome to episode number four of the New Day One Show. I'm Kerry, and uh, we're going to take five minutes again to do just a little inspirational message and uh, to uh, do an actual piano song, an original piano instrumental that I wrote uh, many, many years ago, about 35 years ago. Um, but uh, maybe we'll do that on Wednesdays. I'll I plan on doing an instrumental for you. Um, so the inspiration for today is um, just to talk about things that we like to do that inspire us, that keep us, um, keep, you know, help us fill up our time. If you're like me, my work is down to almost nothing, so I have all kinds of time uh, to spend on my hands. And um, so um, we're going to talk about uh, some of that. I, I like to go for a morning walk. I, I like to ride my bike on the green belt every day if I can, go sit by the uh, river at J.D. Park, read my book, maybe do my Tai Chi. Um, so, I also like to read, and I usually have a novel that I'm reading for a good story that's entertaining, as well as some sort of book of knowledge, uh, um, nonfiction, um, on the more inspirational side, typically. Um, anyway, the novel that I'm currently reading is called Verses for the Dead by uh, Preston and Child. Uh, Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child is actually their full names. Uh, I got turned on to these guys about six years ago, and uh, they are just an amazing couple of writers. Uh, I don't know who takes over what responsibility, but uh, the writing has just such a diverse form to it. But the t one particular series of their books that I'm very much into, I usually don't buy books, I usually go to the library, obviously we can't do that right now. Um, so I'm forced to buy books. Um, I've thought about going down to the used bookstore, but even they aren't really doing their, their thing anymore because of the coronavirus. Um, it's about Agent Pendergast, okay? This is a Pendergast novel, and he's an FBI agent, and a very esoteric one, a very spiritual one, a very mysterious guy. He even looks uh, peculiar and even drives a peculiar uh, limousine. Uh, so. Uh, I just love the peculiarity about it. I love that they, they bring in a spiritual or sometimes supernatural element to it. Uh, you may have seen a movie based on their first book of the Pentagast series called Relic and um, Re 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 Reliquium or Relica, something like that. There's a, a sequel to that. Well, that kicks off these stories about Agent, Agent Pentagast. And I definitely encourage you to, to check that out if you like a good novel. Of course, you can always fall back on a James Patterson, but I gotta tell you, the last couple of years I find a hit and miss with him because of who he pairs up with. Sometimes uh, they're just not the best, but other times they, he gets it right out of the park. Okay, another one is a book that uh, my good friend Sue Moser in Salem, Oregon, sent me. Uh, she does this once in a while, sends me an inspirational book that she's enjoying, and that way we can maybe have a dialogue about it. This one's called. The Awakened Heart, Opening Yourself to the Love You Need by Gerald G. May, M.D. And I'm really loving this book. I'm taking my time reading it because the whole book is basically about rather than going for efficiency in your life, especially in your relationship to others and, and with God, he talks about uh, being more contemplative and uh, the, the stretching and the yielding uh, that we can do to practice the presence of God, which he bases the book on. Uh, Brother Lawrence was a early 17th century monk who wrote a book called Practicing the Presence of God. It has been an inspiration to millions of us uh, because of Brother Lawrence's simple approach to a relationship with Father God. And uh, so I really like this book because he doesn't get into the religious side of it. He gets into, pra he's a psychologist, I believe, MD, yeah. And uh, he gets into some very practical uh, tips to help you deepen your meditation experience, your contemplation experience, to deepen your relationship and, and the presence of love and God, which is with us in all things, and all people and all things. So hope you enjoy those. Maybe check those out. And that's our inspirational message for today. Now, on Wednesdays, or excuse me, on Thursdays from now on, we're going to be doing an instrumental of some kind. And I turn to my trusty piano for this particular instrumental. Um, I cannot remember the name of it. It's been so long since I've played it. But I pulled it out today and thought, well, this is a good jazz-like instrumental to do for um, the New Day One show. Hope you enjoy it.
Well, there you go. I'll see you tomorrow.